Hey people, so I'm just making a quick video. Um, ignore my appearance, I've just woken up. Well, I woke up a few hours ago, but I woke up about 4 a.m. in the morning and it's now 7. I've just been online and doing other things. But today I wanted to address, because one of the reasons that I woke up so early today was because of my dreams. So um, I spoke to somebody recently, a member of my family, and I told them that the way that they try to trap you is through your dreams. And they make you do things like sign contracts in your sleep. Um, uh, they will try to inject you with poison in your dreams, which can also lead to illnesses or bad luck in the future uh, and things like that. So there were a few things I wanted to warn you about in terms of dreams. So if you have a dream of being injected with a needle, that is a very bad sign. So that can tend to mean stuff like poisoning or um, sort of like bad things to happen in the future or like um, them injecting their um, agenda into your system. So that's a bad sign. If you dream of reading a book in your dream, that can be um, a form of signing a contract. If you dream of... Uh, there are other signs as well. So it's like there's certain dreams you can have that will result in you being subjected to their will and or signing a contract so that you're now having to endure certain situations and because you've agreed to it, they can carry it out. So one of the things that um, I would advise is that you try and train yourself to first of all, be aware of these things. If you know what, what the consequences are of certain things when you sleep and you come across them uh you will be able to fight against it because tonight they try to do it to me first of all they try to inject me um apparently so in the dream i was sitting in a waiting room in the hospital and there was a bunch of other people with me and they were injecting them with some sort of vaccination and i was sitting there and i thought this because i didn't know i was dreaming obviously so i thought this was some normal process and then I realised, wait a minute, like, why? I think I started to become, I think my brain, so because I know that these things are bad, I think my subconscious started to kick in and I started to, to wake up a little bit. I wasn't awake, so I wasn't fully awake, but I started to come a bit more conscious and I realised, no, this is not good. And so I forced myself to wake, to, to so I, I, I woke up, I forced myself to wake up and then I just said a prayer so I just said um, to, I, I prayed to God and I just said, um, I reject any forms of contracts or any injections in my sleep. Uh, I And then I just sort of said in, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And then, um, so I could feel that time, at that time a presence in my head. So I feel, when I feel like a, a foreign entity, a possession, I kind of feel a bit like cloudy in my head or heavy in my head. So yeah, and I felt uh, presence leave. Uh, so that was my experience. And then I went back to sleep again and then they tried to make me read a book in my dreams and that is signing the contract. So immediately in my dreams, I rejected it. Uh, and then they they got really upset and I can hear the voices now. One of the things that I've has, has happened, because um, a lot of you may know I'm on the medication. I do take the medication. I try to go down, but then they started to harass me again. So I had to go back up an, another um, another level. But I started to find that I'm experiencing the same things again. Possession, hearing voices, um, feeling uh, sometimes like I'm um, sensations in my body. And I realised that one of the things that is, happens is when you're on the medication, it's, it depends on how much you take, but it numbs you to the reality. But when you awaken, like, so you awake, so, okay, before you go on the medication, you, if you awake, you have all these experiences and then you go on a medication, it numbs you. But if you carry on learning and expanding your understanding and looking into the, researching into the same stuff, um, in looking into spiritual things, 
you your you, your consciousness expands even more so the medication you take like blocks you off to this level when your consciousness expands you become even more awoken and so you start to have the same experiences again and the same effect because the medication can only control up to about here and your your awareness is out there so it's like it's difficult to explain but i believe my consciousness my awareness has expanded beyond the control and limitations of the medication so i am now experiencing the same effects that i was before i went on the medication so i will carry on taking the medication only because it does some of the really aggressive uh, feelings that i had i haven't been experiencing so it numbs me to some level but hearing the voices feeling possessions um, feeling certain sensations in my body those all things I have been experiencing recently and so it's like and I just heard one of the voices and they said it's true and so anyway yeah so it's one of those experiences so t tonight they try to really try to trick me they really tried to like make me sign a contract and I don't know what the contract would entail that's one of the things because you don't know they give you a book and I'm sure the book has like a lot of things in it but you just just the just the process of reading the book in your dreams is signing a contract and agreeing to something so um yeah you have to be very aware of these things and we must train ourselves to uh be conscious to some level in our sleeping in our sleeping um state because that is our subconscious mind and it is a subconscious mind in which a lot of the activities happen like with m mind control it happens in the subconscious mind so we have to be very aware of what goes on there and what we um and what we allow to happen so anyway i'm not going to drag this on too long there are other videos i'm going to do i have to do the budgeting video i was going to do that first but then this happened so i thought i would um come and just like warn everybody out there before they got t tied into certain contracts spiritual contracts um in their sleep so i'll do the budgeting video hopefully today when i have a bit of rest and wake up again um so that should be coming soon i'm also got a lot of other videos i want to do about targeting so if you're if that's what if you're only interested in targeting and not the financial side of things then keep eye on my channel because i will be posting more about targeting and the spiritual things as well so yeah okay i hope you're having a great weekend take care bye